For Jody Balaban, sex has always been. Daddy? Mm -hmm. What's a blowjob? Scary. But there was one place it all made sense. This year's best, best student, student film goes to Jody Balaban. Ah! Now, when a girl's genitals become petrified, with her love life on pause, she's reclassified a virgin, and her career going nowhere. Hi, it's Jody Balaban for Mr. Marshall. She'll do almost anything. Jeff, this is Jody, your new right hand. Jody, you don't want to be his right hand. What's his best known movie? Charlie's Angels. Charlie's Angels? No, Charlie's Angels. No, no, no. Realized that this was a porn. No, no, we do not use the P word. It's adult entertainment. To realize her dream. This place has everything we need. I'll edit their porno movies during the day. Oh my god. And make my movie at night. Action! Please tell me that ATM is automated teller machine. It is, it is, yeah. It's also ass to mouth. The only faces I want to see are either buried in a bush or impaled on a car. Sometimes all it takes. I'm falling for him. I wouldn't touch him with a 10 inch pole. It's a 10 foot pole. Is a little action. With the wet spot. From the writer director of Amy's Orgasm. Hey, take that black dick. Yo, idiot. That's my life. Comes a story about the ins and outs. Are you looking for attention? Of love. It's trust me, not thrust me. Shit! Lily Sobieski, Matt Davis, Denise Richards, and Jamie Kennedy. Sorry about the chubby. Finding Bliss. You shot Gladiator here? <laughs> yeah, no, it's uh. Glad he. Ate her vagina. The whole love thing, I don't buy it. Well, how come it works for me? It doesn't work. You fall in love with a different person each week. My point exactly. It all started with this phone call from my best friend Jackie. Uh, what are you doing Friday night? Because I just met this guy, Brett. In, in, in any luck? Oh, there's just um, one catch. Eight o'clock, be there. People say that because even when I'm there, I'm square. So where's the incentive? Future. What was your favorite movie of all time? I have to say, Gone with the Wind. I never saw. You never saw the movie? I'm not a big fan of black and white movies. I thought you should know they uh, they hated each other. <laughs> hey, no chance on the Eli and Tom thing, huh? That's. Ugh, what a pain. The gays are so picky. It's not just one one. You know, there's fractions of ones, there's halves of ones, quarters of ones. You know, the idea is about make, making yourself open to someone. You know, perhaps Tom becoming the one. And the first name rhymes with this. Okay, could you never, ever do that again? Next day, I go on, it's gonna cost me $2 for the first minute and $1.50 traditional minute. Yeah, so you, your mother told me you're gonna be like this. My mom called you again? Let me in. I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm your friend. What is wrong? It's this guy. I knew it. I hate people like this. They play this game. Once you decide to play it too, they don't wanna play it anymore. Yeah. The Eli was stalking you? That is so romantic. When your best friend's lover is your lover's best friend, it's easy to forget whose side you're on. You blow off a great guy because he made the tragic mistake of falling for you. I'm going home. Pause. Trust me, you don't want the details. Are you nuts? <laughs> At my age, the details are all I got. Four friends, two sets of lovers, twice as much to lie about in the morning. The ex-football player who allegedly killed his wife. Oh, 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 allegedly, what are you, nuts? All over the guy. That's like saying Jackie allegedly got a nose job. Shut up. My name is Amy Mandel. I'm 29 years old, Jewish, and single. I'm famous. I sold my book for ugh, more than I care to admit. But like everyone else on this planet, I'm misguided, horny, and ultimately, just a hopeless romantic looking to connect. I haven't had sex in four years. Oh, somebody needs to get laid. Amy Mandel wrote a bestseller. Oh, you have that Matthew Starr interview tomorrow morning. You're listening to the Matthew Starr Show, where LA's sexiest women bear their souls and other things. Want to see my boobs? How could you have put me on this guy's show? Telling women why love doesn't work. Why doesn't love work for a beautiful girl like you? Because jerks like you reduce us to a pair of tits and ass as soon as we enter your sight line. You're a high-maintenance piece of ass, but that's okay. 
You quote me any passage from your book, and if I can guess the chapter it's from, you give me your phone number. A man gets his self-esteem when a woman says yes, and a woman gets hers when she says no. Chapter 12. But now. What's the point of success if you don't have someone to share it with that you love? You think I don't know that? We're your parents. We want to see you happy. I think you need a drink. She's about to break. Be my Every rule in the book. I met someone. Not Matthew Stark. Please tell me it's not Matthew Stark. Hi, I'm Matthew. Oh, huh. If Howard Stern met kissing Jessica Stein, it would look something like Amy's orgasm, says New York Magazine. I love a woman who tells the world that love doesn't work. I think you're a lesbian. I'm not gay. Well, why not? The Hollywood Reporter calls it a smart, tart breath of fresh air that stands out from the pack. I'm exhausted, okay? I need to sleep. I remind you of your mother, don't I? Oh, my God. Candy, archly funny and deeply authentic, hails Daily Variety. I don't think I'm a lesbian because I fantasize about sucking dick. This kid just can't get out of her own way. I can't believe that you said sucking dicks on the air. What were you thinking? Very funny, raves Peter Rayner of NPR. If I knew you were coming over, I wouldn't have just jacked off. Amy's orgasm. Do you jack off a lot? What's a lot? No, he's warm. He's caring. He's sensitive. So why aren't you attracted to him? For all those reasons. For Katie and Ben, love was a four-letter word. Jesus, Ben, didn't anyone ever tell you to speak up in life? Did anyone ever tell you to shut up? But the problem is, is that you want me and I don't want you. And that she tries to fix me up with all of her loser girlfriends. I mean, that drives me crazy. Ugh. I could eat a horse. <laughs> you could stay here in your little ivory tower, okay? But I'm not the one going to bed alone every night. I want to break up with her. You know, we're not exactly a couple, but, you know... Now, Katie and Ben are on their own, together. All I want is a nice Jewish guy with a strong sense of self, a big penis, and a big wallet. Is that so unreasonable? Yes, I am sensitive, and that's the problem with women today. They don't want sensitive. Ah. Ow. They're so busy asserting their authority during the day that when they come home at night, they want to be, you know, wah, -choo, dominated. Ah. Oh, my God. <gasps> A kiss can bring. You haven't been in love for a while, have you? You're the perfect candidate for therapy. You're bright, you're creative. <laughs> I've never had an abortion or an eating disorder, and all you can say is that I have a big ass. Now it's time to face the inevitable. Oh, baby, trust what is good. To happy accidents. There are no accidents, only a cosmic convenience. Is he closer to your age or to mine? <sighs> It's all sex to you guys, isn't it? Pretty much, yeah. But I give her every detail about my sex life. You do? Hallelujah, this is my heaven. I looked around, but baby, I found it right here. This is my heaven. No man will ever be faithful to you completely, forever. It's not in our nature. Well, your nature sucks. We're making love. I feel connected. And then you tell me how you and Katie use the same cream rinse. I don't care, Ben. You cheated on me. Wait. I wanna put my hands over you. When all else fails, just say, How can you stick your tongue between my legs when you don't even know my name? I love you. When was the last time you made love? Don't touch me. This is the first time.